ericmothersmother.com. Let's take a look here at Bank of America's monthly chart and we can see here what happened in late 2007 and the key takeaway being this failed breakout attempt on the monthly chart. Now failed breakouts are notorious for spooking a stock and actually inducing some selling. So we always have to be careful of a failed breakout. In fact, if we zoom in to that time frame, we'll sit a little bit better on the monthly. So we can see the same setup here we just zoomed in, which is this attempt to clear this previous monthly closing high. We can see that this was a failed breakout. Let's call it at about the mid 40s. After that failed breakout, you can see the stock turns around and starts pointing lower. Now, the low of the month was at about 39. This is um, at the end of October 2007. Just because of this failed breakout, take a look at what happens within the next 12 months. So we are talking about the failed breakout was here. After that failed breakout, take a look at what ensued months later. We are talking about a low going as low as two and a half, give or take, just because A, the market was in itself in a very bearish general market environment, but the key takeaway is at the highs, there was this failed monthly breakout. So we always need to be sensitive to a failed breakout because it suggests that the stock does not have an appetite for higher prices. If it doesn't have an appetite for higher prices, chances are a reversal takes place after that. So be aware of failed breakouts. Eric Mwadith, mother com. As always, good luck, peace and blessings. E-A-C-S. Woo!